Lisa and Nicole who joined us for National Volunteer Week. Lisa and Nicole, what did you do today? Today we painted a mural. You can see it. And I painted the tomatoes. You want to zoom in? Check yeah. Yeah. And you want to check out everybody else's paintings? <laughs> he added all the candy all Hey, Dominique. Yeah. Are you having fun painting? I'm having a blast. Could you tell the camera about how much fun you're having? <laughs> I'm having a blast. It's actually really relaxing. It's soothing. Oh, great. Thank you. <laughs> Frida, yes. tell us about what you're completing here. Um, two hands holding. <laughs> Looks like a seedling. Yeah. Is that a seedling? I think so. Have you ever painted two hands holding I have, a seedling before? No, no. It's still well, quite a challenge, but I'm loving it though. You're I've, doing an excellent job. Yeah, at first I couldn't see what it was going to become, but I'm loving it so far. I didn't think I could do it right. It looks then, really good. Thank yeah, you. Cool. And here we have Sade yeah. clearly painting a cardinal, and she wore her cardinal outfit, especially <laughs> for today. <laughs> Sade, are you having fun? Yeah, I'm having a great time. Thank you for joining us for National Volunteer Week. No problem. What did you do today? Today I had lunch. <laughs> it was delicious. Tell us about the cheese, Deb. The cheese was donated to us by Cabot because of the fact that Deidre's done an amazing job volunteering. <laughs> Uh, my name is Kevin Farrell. I'm an AmeriCorps volunteer with the Buzzards Bay Coalition. And uh, today is our second annual Community Stewardship Day at the Kushnet Sawmill. Um, so things that we're doing today, um, we're having volunteers come uh, remove litter that's accumulated, um, cut some of the uh, invasive vegetation out um, that's sort of dominating over the natives. And uh, other things we're having done uh, is clear some woody debris that we've cut out. Uh, and mainly just prepping the site for the larger restoration uh, which will be happening uh, beginning at the end of this year. Uh, the plan for this whole site is to be open to the public next summer. If you want to be recognized, wonderful. If you want to be great, wonderful. But recognize that he who is greatest among you shall be your servant. That's a new definition of greatness. This morning, the thing that I like about it, by giving that definition of greatness, it means that everybody can be great. Because everybody can serve. You don't have to have a college degree to serve. You don't, know, you don't have to make your subject and your verb agree to serve. 
You don't have to know about Plato and Aristotle to serve. You don't have to know Einstein's theory of relativity to serve. You don't have to know the second theory of thermodynamics in physics to serve. You only need a heart full of grace. Soul generated by love. You can be that servant. So, Very nice. That you'll notice is um, Fall River's recognition as a city of service. Yeah. And over here, there's a South Coast Serves logo. So, South Coast Serves is a collaborative of over 35 organizations community based organizations, municipal organizations, as well as the University of Massachusetts Dartmouth. It's coordinated by the Ledoux Center. And together, we work to um, improve the infrastructure for service and volunteerism in the region. And this has been a tremendous project in that effort. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you. Thank you all. And again, thank you to everybody who participated. Thank you, Jack. has been a part of it. You know, it makes a big difference in the community to see the students involved and, and just really transforms and cultivates. Thank you. Can we get a picture of everybody? Can we all gather for a photo?